Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. Last time, we took down Cyrus and Saturn at Galactic HQ. Yes, in that order. I know I ranted about it last time, but it bared repeating because it was awfully strange. And we learned that Cyrus is heading off toward Mount Coronet to do what else? Harness the power of an ancient Pokemon. This time, do we really have a choice? We are hopping on our bike and riding toward the fight to stop him. So, uh, Mount Coronet. There have been many entrances to it all around the Sinnoh region. Some connected, some not. The entrance that we're taking here is from Orberg City. Alternatively, you could go from Heart Home. I just personally chose Orberg as I thought it would be a little bit quicker. I'm gonna hop on my Milotic right here and cancel my bicycle, so I'm gonna just get back onto it and yeah, I didn't have to do that. I would have freaked out right there if I would have hopped down that ledge after trying to save time by surfing. <laughs> uh, so, well, actually, I can only go up here through surfing, can't I? Mind. Hmm. Well, uh, point is, we have Rock Climb, meaning that we can progress further into Mount Coronet than we ever could before. Get a Max Repel right there, making up for the one that I just used. That is, of course, very welcome. Are you an item, Rock? Let's see. Yes, you are. You gave me a Red Shark. Not something I need as much as a Max Repel. You can never have enough Max Repels, though. And likewise, even though I don't need a Red Shard right in the moment, you can never have enough items in your inventory. Especially in this game, since it was finally the Pokemon game to give us unlimited bag space. Seriously, I, I've been replaying Red and Blue like probably everyone else in the world, and how did we ever get along without unlimited inventory space? 20 item spots in Red and Blue, and TMs and key items count in that storage. Plus, PC storage is finite. How did we ever get along without it? There I got an escape rope. Of course, you want to pick that up as we are in a dungeon, and we got a timer ball. What good timing? I didn't realize there was a pun in there until I started saying it. That was good. Okay, um, item recommendations. We have kind of a long road ahead of us, and there's some items that I would recommend getting before you tackle this. First off, timer balls are good. Dusk balls are good. Maybe a few quick balls for good measure. I went and stocked up on some Moomoo Milks off screen, and yeah, just kind of be prepared for battle, because you will definitely need to be, well, battling through here. Um, of course, stock up on Max Repels, that goes without saying. There is your TM80 Rock Slide. You can't go on the road without that. Okay, no, seriously, that's a decent move. Kind of inaccurate, but it hits both enemies in a double battle, and it's a pretty decent power rock type move, and it can flinch the opponent too, so it's all right. Uh, they are just pouring on the Max Revive! Whoa! Freaking out over that, but really, I don't think I'd use that in battle unless it was a really dire situation. Had another close call. Oh! Hey! You and your gigantic forehead are here to light the way! Observe, if you will, that hole. This is no time for pickup lines, Looker. The universe is at stake. There was once a there was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit, but the wall it is no longer there. It lies in pieces. Do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon of the lakes have been captured, something terrible is happening. But what exactly? I do not know. There is but one cause. Team Galactic Cyrus. Don't you mean the Team Galactic Cyrus? And now we are all cut up. Now on to the next step. Are you trainer enough to advance? Show me if you will. Ha ha ha! You can relax now. You see, I understand. You are far superior to me. As are the commanders. Cyrus too. Naturally. Team Galactic is beyond my reach. Please, you must stop them. For only you are able. All I can do now is give you this. It is a little something I obtained in an investigation long ago. The Black Flute! Please, you must stop Team Galactic. From talking as Looker, I actually spat on my screen. That is how into it I got. I was even clutching my chest at one point. The Black Flutes! I don't remember its effect offhand. Let's go and look. Screw this, I'm using the select button trick. Mix wild Pokemon less likely to appear. It's nice, but I think I'm gonna stick with my tried and true Max Repels. I would prefer no encounters to few encounters. What Looker was saying here is actually true. I'd like to show on screen right now that if you were to come here as soon as we got Rock Climb before taking on Galactic HQ, there would indeed be a wall there with a painting on it identical to the one in Celestic Town. I've always liked to imagine that perhaps Cyrus believed that the wall in Celestic Town was the one he would need to get past to get access to a, le to a legendary Pokemon. It could be the case, it might not be. It's just kind of something I've always found interesting. The inscription's not any different or anything like that, but it is there. We grunts have two jobs. One, to ensure success of our operation at the summit. Two, utterly destroy any intruders to stop their meddling. Too bad for you, meddling is my middle name. Actually, I don't think this character has an official middle name, but I'm going to pretend like it is, damn it. 
Um, I guess I should mention that I have made a little bit of preparations in the way of my team. Nothing is different on Bodhi, but I have uh, Derpidius on the team rather than um, Sweet Ride. Main reason for this is that the HM's moves that you need to get through Mount Coronet are Surf, Strength, Rock Climb, and Rock Smash. Tropius cannot learn Rock Climb, so it wouldn't have made sense to bring him if I only wanted one HM user. I thought that kind of was pretty sound logic. In addition, I have indeed gotten rid of Metronome on Supernova, and I have taught it Fire Blast once more. I'm just going to hope that it works out better for us. My headcanon is going to be that that first Fire Blast TM we bought was defective, and this was a new one. But in case it doesn't work out, I have my secret weapon. I will use it if times get desperate. <laughs> I think that's a fair enough point. I'll give it one more chance, but if it doesn't work out, we will, well, oh, no, 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 no! We'll do whatever I just did. Time has come. Team Galactic's time now. Or it's Team's Galact it's Team Galactic's time now. Never mind. <laughs> it's too late. No amount of desperation from a kid like you will make a difference. Buddy, I got news for you. Children have a long-standing history in this world for stopping criminal syndicates. And it's the snow again! Okay, it's not as bad as I'm making it sound. It really isn't. The snow here is tolerable. You can't use your bike. But you get to enjoy some nice music when you're not finding max potions like me. You know, it's pretty nice. It's definitely not the root theme for... I gotta scroll up. I was saying, it's no root theme for snow, but it's still pretty nice nonetheless. And I think I'll be quiet here for just a moment to let you listen to it. dire feel to it and you don't really you don't really hear that in Pokemon games outside of cutscenes so I, I like this it adds a sense of urgency to things and just the extreme conditions of uh, snow to somebody like me who was unfamiliar with snow yeah it's kind of nice <laughs> um, got some items around here there are a few different cave entrances that we can take uh, oh boy you're presenting me with three different options one involves using rock climb one involves that cave entrance over there that you can barely see uh, let's try rock climbing all the way up and see where that gets us. So there's another cave entrance up here. It's the way. I do loosely know the way of Mount Coronet. I'm just trying to be really cautious and getting all the items I can, and they are just pouring them on top of us like nothing, man. Uh, again, one step! Decided not to fret it too much. I'm just going to take the cave entrance right near us, not to waste more of our time with just b contemplating home. Which way is the right way? Why can't I remember it right? Funny thing is, I remember taking both of these pathways at one time or another and having them both be right. It's really strange. Uh, just how I remember it, and it's, I guess it might just be fuzzy memory. Or both ways are right, and they both lead to the same place. That would explain why I remember both of them being right. Even though um, this one is totally not right and just had one item in it for us. Okay, that was kind of funny. But that explains why my memory was just like, which one is the right one? I swear I've taken both before. Yeah, they both lead to the same room. Okay, that's kind of amazing. Well, I didn't need to contemplate it about it. Just kind of by taking it by the bit and going for it really helped. Got more rock climbable areas right here. It's kind of neat, just the thought of climbing on walls. I remember when this game was first announced and like the new features in it were getting confirmed. I thought the idea of climbing on walls was super interesting. And you turn right towards me right as I'm walking past you. As I was saying, the thought of climbing on walls in a Pokemon game did sound really cool when this game was coming out though, but I don't know, I kind of wish it was more hands-on. I got my wish later on in the series where climbing on walls was just a natural ability that your trainer could do and there were areas that you had to navigate by climbing on walls. But about that, I think Rock Climb got probably the greatest nerf of anything in the history of the entire series. Going from being an HM move to something that your trainer is just able to do naturally without the need for any Pokemon or gym badges. Say what you will about moves getting their accuracy cut across generations or getting their secondary effects um, lessened in terms of chance. I think that is a far more offensive change to a move than anything else because that is just taking its usefulness away completely. You were going to fight me, but you are not a required trainer whatsoever. I just wanted to go in here really quick, so I am a skipping over ya. 
Vanity grew to level 37 though, and tries to learn a Hydro Pump. That is kind of interesting. Okay, hear my argument on this. Yeah, it's less accurate than Fire Blast. And yeah, I've had terrible luck with that. But I'm kind of thinking that if it doesn't work out, we could always reteach Recover using a Heart Scale. And Hydro Pump could be useful in double battles, of which we have a few coming up, in case we don't want to use Surf and damage our ally. So you know what? Yeah, I think I will teach it. If I need to reteach Recover later on, I can always do that, so let's do it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure you worked really hard for your position of... Goomba in Team Galactic, because that's really what you are. Stationed in a non-required area, really for no reason other than just to be fodder for me getting distracted from my goal. No, maybe that- maybe it is secretly brilliant. Maybe they put trainers in these off-the-beaten-path places just to be red herring, so I'm like, Oh, well, they put guards here. This is clearly where I'm supposed to go so that they distract me for a few more precious moments. Well, I got news for you, Cyrus. You don't need to station guards to distract me. I will distract myself with trying to get lots and lots of really useful items because I love collecting stuff. Speaking of which, what a waste of time that was. Um, I've yet to outsmart one of... As I was saying, I've yet to outsmart one of these moving spinners. And today is not my day to do it. Someday. Someday I will outsmart that movement pattern. Someday. I am very envious of the speedrunners that do that on a daily basis because I can never ever do it. Someday I will though. I gotta believe in myself. Unless she's the last one in the game, in which case I don't think I'll ever be accomplishing that goal. Um, kind of goes without saying, I didn't think I needed to draw too much attention to this, but once again, if you want experience, you should be fighting all the galactic grunts just before you leave this area, because if you go on too far, they will eventually not be here anymore. If you go all the way down, there is this loser. Yeah, right, you're absolutely right, I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay any attention to a lowly grunt like me without any Pokemon. He is too dumb to know that he is the smartest guy here, because him not having any Pokemon means that I can't beat him in a battle and force him to move aside. Also, I think this is the last item that is in this place, I hope. Stardust, very good. Now I'll meet you guys back up at the top. Heal powder, right heal. And we are back. Let's keep on our merry way and ride off on our noble steed into the sunset. I gotta say, like riding on the back of a giant beaver and just having it climb up a wall that quickly, I am sad that you can't physically see the Pokemon doing the HM moves in this game, or in most games in the series for that matter, unless it's like a really specific case like a Lapras surfing in present day, because that would look hilarious. Don't tell me you wouldn't want to see like a kid riding on the back of a bee barrel climbing a wall that fast. It would look amazing. It would just be the funniest sight you could ever see in any sort of animation. And I've seen some pretty dang funny Pokemon animations in my day. Like, go look up like, I don't know, Ken uh, Mega Kangaskhan using flying press. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one. <laughs> but anyway, going back into the mountain and hopefully getting out of the cold for a while, we have come a long, long way. We've just come an even longer way. We went up another floor within the time it took me to say that. That's how much we're progressing. But I think it's time. Time for the bios. We have gone from having so many encounters around Pastoria, to having like no encounters around Canalave, to having a ton around Snowpoint, to having none again for a while, to now having quite a few to go over in the upper levels of Mount Coronet. Side note, if you want to get any Mount Coronet related evolutions, these Galactic Grunts are pretty good training fodder for that being around level 40, but other than that, let's get started. First off, is not just an annoying Pokemon to fight against, it is the Grand Duke of all annoying Pokemon to fight against, Bronzong! Everything about Bronzor is true here. Heat Proof and Levitate are both excellent abilities. Its type is frustrating for most opponents to deal with in conjunction with those abilities. I love the idea of it only having one weakness and it's up to you to choose which one it has. You have seen me struggle against this family of Pokemon more than once. You know the drill. As a bit of a fun fact, um, the Bronzong Pokedex entry states that it was said to bring rain to crops in ancient times. Personally, I like the strategy of Rain Dance with Bronzong if it has Levitate, because if it's raining, it effectively has no weakness. Just kind of a neat little thing. I don't know if that was an intentional wink to a strategy that you could do with it, but I thought it was neat to mention nonetheless. Second, we are just out to name all kinds of Pokemon that I think are really interesting, because we have Absol. Your attack stat is amazing, and I love you so, so much. 
The physical special split has been incredibly kind to Absol. It'll be level 38 to 40 when caught. You'll get Sucker Punch at 44, Night Slash at 52, meaning that it finally gets what it so desperately needed in Gen 3. Dark type moves that use that high attack stat. If you've never used an Absol before, now might be the time. Next is Obama Snow. Aside from the incredibly fun name, I feel like I'm just repeating myself here because I don't really have much else to say about it that I didn't talk about with Snover. Access to good level up moves, but Hail just isn't the most useful weather effect out there. Really only useful to ice types, and it's just not as versatile as, say, Sandstorm, and ice really isn't that good of a type. Plus, it has seven weaknesses, including a quad weakness to fire. Tough to use, but if you wanted to use a pure ice type team for sake of personal challenge or something, it's definitely worth considering for that, I guess. And last up is Chimeco. Why are you always a rare late game Pokemon? This is a 1% encounter rate. And your reward is just a levitating pure psychic type with mediocre stats. As far as moves, it never gets psychic by level up. Best you're gonna get is extra sensory at level 46. There's been so many better psychic types in our journey up to this point. And if you really wanted Chimeco, Chingling has been available since Eterna City, and you should already have one. Positives? I guess grasping at straws, I like its cry, it's very ear-pleasing. That's about the best thing I can say about it. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. Vanity grew to level 38 through all that? Just in time for the bios to be finished? All you gave me was a taste of defeat. I don't know why I made him sound like Butch from the anime, but I don't know, I just, I tend to always imagine grunts talking in that, even though Butch was kind of one of the least grunty grunts. I mean, nobody could remember his name or anything, but you know, he definitely had a better track record than Jesse or James. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Um, uh, choke, you can go away. It's kind of funny, um, this room, this particular room of Mount Coronet, I have very strange memories with. I have a friend, I was with him when this happened, so I can attest to this being real. He was in this room, didn't have any repels left. He ran into a shiny Graveler, and it used self-destruct. You can imagine how soul-crushing that was, but that's not the end of the story. His very next encounter was another shiny Graveler, and it also used self-destruct on the first turn. <laughs> it is by far the best worst luck I think I have ever seen anyone have in my entire life. It's like, on one hand, two shiny encounters in a row. Who has ever gotten that? Aside from maybe Renee Kalax, but she's just kind of amazing at finding shinies. But seriously, two shiny encounters in a row! But both of them self-destruct in one turn. It's like... It's weird. I don't know whether to classify that as good or bad luck. I guess maybe a little more bad than good, but you can't deny just the incredible chances against him in that situation. I don't know, it's one of the most bizarre stories I think I have ever seen just in any Pokemon game. And it's like, I know that I, I do not expect everyone to believe me on that one. And it, it didn't happen to me, it happened to a friend of mine, but still. Uh, Krogunk, I will happily stay in against you. Scythe can just chop you up apart. I, I think I already made a joke about having frog legs after just slicing up this thing with a critical hit, but hey, you know, I'm doing six damage, times six damage, to doing six, no, I am doing times six damage to you, there is a big difference between times six damage and six damage, even though I'm sure there's some way that you could do that under some really specific circumstances. I got the critical hit, so it was times 12 damage, so it didn't really matter in the end, and vanity, you might be a little bit low on health, but I think you could take out this Murkrow, no problem. Let's test out your abilities of being able to fight some flying types, because that is one of the reasons that I have you, is that Supernova's not always able to one-shot them. Let's see your Ice Beam taking on a Pokemon that is higher level than you. No one evolved, we'll still see how it goes. Vanity, look at you. Being under level, taking out flying types in one hit. That's what I'm talking about. What? How dare you? That's how you respond to my generosity? I like how for a pause she spoke that fast will be discarded as useless. Hey, as somebody who listened to Cyrus talking about you last time, too late for that. Our boss is ruthless that way. Oh, maybe she was already aware. Well, as we step forward, we are at the summit of Mount Coronet, the Spear Pillar. Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we go up there. See you guys then.